In tonight's Health Watch report, a heart patient at MedStar Union Memorial Hospital is Maryland's first to undergo a groundbreaking artificial heart valve replacement without need for open heart surgery. At 83, Joan Mertz found her life disrupted. The first sign of trouble? I couldn't walk my dog without being short of breath, going up an incline or stairs or anything like that. Symptoms continue to worsen over the years for their great grandmother. If I vacuumed my living room, I could do half rest and then get back and do the other half, mostly shortness of breath. Concerned, Joan consulted the team at MedStar Union Memorial Hospital for further evaluation. Soon she learned she would need a tricuspid valve replacement. The tricuspid valve is one of the four heart valves. It's on the right side of the heart. And this is a large valve that separates the right atrium from the right ventricle. When it works properly, it closes when the heart contracts, the right ventricle contracts and prevents blood from leaking back into the right atria. When it doesn't work well, the tricuspid valve does not coact, does not come together and blood leaks or there's regurgitation. Normally, a patient would need open heart surgery to correct the problem, but a newly approved and much less invasive procedure offered her hope through Dr. John Wong and Dr. Brian Bethay. It's getting worse, so when they came up with this, he said, this is it. We're going to try this. There are no incisions. Everything is percutaneous. Um, everything has stitches on the inside of the vessel. Most of the time, the patient may just experience some local bruising or no bruising at all. This is the first technology, not just to fix that valve with a little clip to try and get it to coapt or seal up, but actually to completely replace the heart valve. And that's what we were able to do. The minimally invasive technique uses a catheter to implant this artificial self-expanding tricuspid valve to prevent or reduce regurgitation. A process, Joan says, consumed her with a mix of emotions. Scared to death. I mean, when you're dealing with your heart, you're frightened. I, I was very frightened of what was gonna happen and, you know, and, and my age and, kids and, and the whole bit. The procedure lasts under an hour. Patients are actually asleep for the procedure and we go across the diseased aortic valve with a catheter and a wire and then we actually advance this heart valve, make sure it's aligned up properly, guided by it, a special echo called a transesophageal echo and we slowly deploy this valve until it's in its proper position and we release the valve. A stark contrast to an hours long open heart surgery and four to six week recovery period. Instead, Joan experienced a smooth procedure without any complications. And it was over, good. Dr. Bethay walked in the room and I just said, good job, doc. I think I embarrassed him a little bit. This is a game changer in the world of treating these patients because what it offers us is the ability to percutaneously mimic what I've done for years in the operating room and that is repair or replace the valve. Life changing for Joan as well. It was like, damn, I'm breathing, you know, without having a problem. One analogy that I use to the patients is you have to be Cinderella and the shoe has to fit. We have to have the right shoe size in order to match your particular heart. It's my miracle, <laughs> it is. And look, some symptoms of tricuspid valve regurgitation include extreme tiredness, shortness of breath with activity, feelings of a rapid or pounding heartbeat, pounding or pulsing feeling in the neck, and swelling in the belly, legs, or neck veins. Now look, the cardiac team says while this is a major step forward in life-saving technology, doctors say this serves as another resource but not a replacement for traditional open heart surgery, which a lot of people may think that, but as he said, it has to be the perfect fit. But it's a great new technology. It's important to point that out. Great to see where technology is headed if it's yes. like this right now. She is relieved everything went well. Too. Can't even imagine. Nikki, thank you. Let's turn